In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an insane Afro dancehall beat in Apple Studio. So let's get started. So first, let's adjust the BPM to around 100, so pick 97. So most of the cases when I'm creating a dancehall inspired beat, I'm starting off with a piano. So in this case, I'm going to use the Piano V3 from Arturia. So right now, let's use this preset. Open up the piano roll. So right now, I'm going to draw in this A. I'm going to create some inverse chords. So we have this A, F, and D. Then just copy this one. Then we're using this F, G, and C, and A, C, F. So let's have a listen right now. So right now I'm just drawing in these simple minor chords. So let's just duplicate this one. One note lower, so it sounds like this. So right now let's shorten these notes and play around with the position. And um, right now let's draw in the root notes. So starting off at this T. And then let's follow the F, which we use right here. And then we'll F and let's say G. Something like that. I think I'm gonna leave it for now and we're gonna add another layer. So I'm gonna use, so I'm gonna add a plug. So let's in this case use Serum. Now I'm gonna search for a plug preset. So I found this preset, which is a simple sign preset. So I'm just gonna copy this whole chord progression and paste it into the next one, into the new synth plug. So let's have a listen to this one. So I've played around with this melody for a while, added this chord right here, and right now it sounds like this. But right now it still sounds way too empty, so I want to add another layer. So let's just use another layer from Serum. So I'm gonna clone this one. So I found this preset, and right now let's copy the keys from the piano, this one, pasting it to this one, and then maybe just shorten the notes and start off at the first step. So play around with the envelope of the serum preset. So definitely have to fine tune this one, but just let's move on to the next layer. Let's copy the piano, and then just remove this one. So I'm gonna add another layer to the piano, so this classic upright clean preset, which is an upright piano, sounds way brighter, and also added this progression right here, so right now it sounds like this. Add some more of the root notes. And I'm also not sure about this one, so I'm gonna just lower this down one octave. All right now, I think the plugs are still missing some high frequency, so I'm gonna add a plug from Anna 2, which contains some pretty cool presets. I'm gonna just have a look in the preset bank and then search, so let's say Bell. So I'm gonna use this Indie Bell plug, this one. And in this case, let's copy this part of the chord progression, one octave up. So right now it sounds like this. Definitely has a tropical vibe to the melody. So right now let's open up Arcade I'm gonna add some vocal samples. So I'm gonna use this Sunshine preset bank. So right now I came across this crazy riff preset. Turning it up one octave like this, sounds perfect. This one just goes perfect together with the progression and really keeps it interesting. So definitely what I was looking for, but I was looking for a vocal sample. So let's use Arcade again, just clone it. So I found this Distant Voices Haunting Pedal sample. So we're now it's way too loud. So let's lower down both of the volumes from the Arcade sampler. So right now I'm just gonna leave it like this. Maybe just remove this one because maybe there is too much going on. And right now I'm already feeling the groove when it comes to a bass line. 
And I think when it comes to dance, the bass line is essential for adding the whole bounce and the vibe to the beat. So in this case, I'm going to start off with just a simple bass. So let's use the Mini V3. And I love to use this bass sample, for example, reggaeton. And right now I'm going to go crazy on this one. So right now, I've just drawn a typical dancer rhythm, which is used in a lot of those beats. All right, right now, I'm just going to mess around. So make sure you reuse some notes from the copy progression. This is the easiest way of to build something like this. I draw on this one and right now I'm gonna select the magnet and select none. I'm gonna play around with all the notes individually so nothing sounds the same. And also play around with the velocity and I'm gonna do this all manually. So right now it looks like this, but I'm gonna add a layer. I want to add a bass guitar. And this one adds some more mid frequencies to the bass and it just makes it sound more realistic because this one maybe sounds too synthesized or flat. So, I'm going to use contact again. I'm going to use some of the Scarby bass presets, maybe the Amped one, or maybe this one, the Rocky preset. I'm just going to leave everything on the fold and just copy this one and paste it into this one. Oh! But right now it's still missing something and I want to add a layer which adds some more ambience to this beat. So let's use contact again. I'm going to use an element which I add to a lot of my beats. So it's the guitar TC from Ilya Efimov of this one. Just leave it on the fold. And then already let's link it to the mixer. Add the Valhalla Vintage Verb. Just add a lot of reverb. Like this. And let's start off at this D. And use this C. I think something like this. Add some more emotion to the whole beat. So I think we've added enough elements to, in the end, create an interesting beat. So right now, just let's add the drums. So I'm going to use the Amapiano Paradise drum kit. So let's start off with a rim. So I'm going to start off with the first one, which I pick, which is rim three. So now I'm going to draw in the first rhythm. Maybe just start off with adding a shaker loop. So shaker loop. So I'm going to add shaker loop 13, lower down the volume. So I think that sounds cool. So let's move on with some more drums, class height, for example. So I'm going to use this one and let's just select the pain function and then let's adjust the velocity manually. So something like this and then press option R to even randomize it even more. So it sounds as humanic as possible. So. Right now, let's add the kick. So I'm drawing in something like this. So this definitely adds some more groove to the beat. So I'm going to add this one. So let's add another shaker. So I've layered some more rim shots. So I've made an adjustment to one of the rim shots right now, it sounds like this. Play around with the velocity. So right now it's getting pretty complex, but I'm just gonna add some more layers. Adding another clip. So I want to add this one, which I think sounds pretty dope. I'm going to add some swing around 15%. So I'm going to add this snare from my Afrotopia drum kit. So 
store now I've just added so much layers, so much elements, and I think it's time for a crane the arrangement. So I'll definitely make some more tweaks or maybe add some more elements. I'll show you the final result in a second. But I think in this case, it won't be a second. So this project was definitely a pain in the ass. <laughs> so this project took me a long time. So I mixed it. And I think right now it sounds pretty cool. I've added this reverse piano, this one. So I think the reverse piano is definitely a detail which you have to add when it comes to those beats. Just adds another vibe to the whole beat. And when talking about the arrangement, every four bars, another element is coming in. So this keeps the beat interesting. And I've also added some more elements to the drums, but right now we're just gonna have a listen to the final results. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I've just added this bass note right here. Just to make it sound full. Piano coming in, the reverse piano, a focus sample with a lot of side chaining on it and reverb, another focus sample, and the guitar riff. Just go perfect together. Keep the introduction interesting. Simplified bass loop and also the kick drum, also simplified. And also the kick and the bass line, perfect complements. bridge or verse. Just leave some room for the artist. Reverse piano coming in again, keeping this run interesting again. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave it a thumbs up if you did. Also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. If you like the samples which I've used in this tutorial, make sure to check out the Emma Piano Paris drum kit. The link will be in the description, highly recommend it. And there was also a free preview if you want to check it out, the link will also be in the description. And I think that's it when it comes to this video. So I hope you guys have a great day and create some awesome beats. See you.